Okay, now that we have our new document in InDesign, the next thing we want to do is set up some layers to work on. Unlike Photoshop, where you're going to create your layers as you go, in InDesign it's a little bit easier if we set up a couple of layers ahead of time that we're going to go ahead and create things on. So in order to do that, we need to have our layers palette showing. Um, so over here on the right, it's, it's hidden in this uh, little layer palette bar over here. Um, or if for some reason yours is missing, you can go to Window and then down to Layers, and that will bring your Layers Palette up as well. So I have my Layers Palette open here, and uh, the first, it's, it's automatically created with one layer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that layer because I don't want it just to be called Layer 1. For housekeeping purposes, it's better uh, to name these things. So I'm just going to double click on the name Layer 1 and call this Background Images. Say OK to that. And then I'm going to create another new layer, actually two more. Um, so, but I want to name it as I create it, so I'm going to option click instead of just clicking on the new layer icon down here. So that allows me to name it as I create it. I'm going to call this the text layer. And then I'm going to option click on this new layer icon one more time. And I'm going to call this foreground images. And then hopefully from the titles there, you can get an idea of what I'm going to use each layer for. So anything that's going to kind of sit in the background underneath my text is going to be on the background images layer. Then I'll have my text. And then anything that's going to kind of sit on top of or in front of my text, I'm going to put on my foreground images layer. So uh, now let me show you a little bit about how layers, the layers work in InDesign because it's slightly different than Photoshop. So I'm just going to grab a rectangle here and create it. And as I create it, you can see that it has a green box around the outside. And you'll see that my foreground images box, which was the layer that was highlighted when I created that box, uh, is also green. Meaning that that particular object is living on this layer now. You can also tell because this being the active object, meaning it has the handles visible around the outside, uh, also shows this little green square in the layers box. Well, that little green square indicates that object. So if I wanted to move this object to a different layer, all I have to do is grab that little green square and drag it to whatever layer that I want it to now uh, live on. So you can see the outline changes to blue, and I did physically move that object down to the bottom of the stack here onto my background images layer. And that's all there really is to it. So if we want to move him, Again, then you can grab the blue box and move it up to the text layer. You do, of course, have the eyeballs that you can turn on and hide and show different layers. In InDesign, the yellow highlight indicates the layer that you're currently working on, uh, very, very similar to Photoshop. And then you also have a layer lock, which will protect that layer. 